Alright guys, welcome back to Micro Starcraft 2. Today I'm going to be showing you a replay of myself actually, playing in a Platinum League against another Terran called Doom on, on a map called Steps of War. And this map has a very very short rush distance and I'm going to take advantage of that. Usually a Terran versus Terran match is a Tekken match where people tack up to uh, banshees and tanks and I'm going to take advantage of the short distance and Terran's tendency to tech against each other by building three barracks and push out with about five marines and constant marine reinforcements to win the match and this technique has actually won me about four out of five Terran versus Terran matches and uh, it's very interesting I hope you guys will like it Alright, so you throw down the barracks at 9 population and you build another SCV right after it. And when you have 10 population, send, an, send another SCV and build supply depots. I would suggest you build all your buildings close to your uh, mineral line so that if the opponent ever rushes you with reapers, you would have time to react and protect your buildings. So once your second, uh, uh, once your supply depot is done, you want to start throwing down a second barracks. And once that's done, stop building SCVs. No more SCVs. Just start building your marines. And you want to rally these marines towards your ramp, so that if enemy scouts come by, you know you can deny them of scouting your base. And after your first marine comes out you should have about enough minerals to start building a third barracks make sure you number your barracks and have them rally to your first marine and just constantly pop out marines and make sure you don't get supply cap so you want maybe to build another supply depot around 15 or 16 yep see that's what I'm doing I'm pulling out one of the SEVs that just finished the second barracks to build the uh, to build the second supply depot and I do have two marines oh I did deny one of the uh, his early scout with these two marines and you see you just have this constant flow of marines coming out and remember you do not build any more SCVs after your first one after your first barracks is completed this is an all-in all-in rush so if this fails you're in very bad shape so but then see I'm moving out with six marines with const with th three barracks done, and all these three barracks are pumping out marines constantly. And I'm I moved out around four minutes game time. That's about three minutes in real game time. See, that's the f he only has a, f a factory half done and about two marines, and he's not gonna be happy to see about six marines knocking on his doors. He has about two. That's just about to be done, and that's easy kill right there. He's actually going for a very, very fast factory. That's what Terrans usually do against each other. And I denied him of scouting my face, so he has no idea a bunch of Marines are going to be here. So you just micro a little bit, and you get rid of uh, his SCVs. I must have killed about 13 units right here. See, 11. He lost about 700. So now, uh, even if this rush does not succeed, you have killed enough SCVs to uh, to balance out the game. I had to kill his uh, barracks right now to prevent him from building anything else. Uh, if if this was a little bit late, he would have gotten a tank out and he could just repair that tank, which would be very bad for me. And that helium would have raped my my army too but um, it's pretty much GG now since he lost all his mineral lines uh, since he lost all his workers well the, this is about it um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I will put out another one a second one of this um, of this uh, build all right guys this is another game of me playing in the Platinum League and this is another game on Steps of War against another Terran. So I'm gonna do the 
3 racks push again. And I'm gonna call this build a 9 racks super build. Uh, I Because I'm not that creative and I can't really think of a better name for it. So I'm gonna call it the 9 racks super build. The 9 racks is not building 9 barracks, is you know, at 9 supplies, just in case you don't know. But uh, yeah, so you wanna throw down that barracks at either 9 population or 10, but I would usually suggest you to throw it down at 9. Alright, you can you can definitely do it at 10, it's just uh, your marines will get there really late and it's not going to be as effective. And our friend over here, it seems like he's he's doing a reaper rush. Usually Terrans do reaper rush when they, uh, when they elect to put down a barracks first and a refinery second without putting down any supply defaults. And as for me here, I have thrown down my supply default at 11 population. Remember, in this super build, in this 9 rack super build, you don't build any refineries. You have nothing that requires refineries, so don't build them. And once your second second supply default is done, you just you build a marine, you build one marine to fend off uh, scouts, and you save up your minerals and start building uh, your second barracks and remember at this time you don't build any more SCVs you save up your minerals here you could build a, one or two more if you have really excessive um, uh, minerals now he scaled him my base and he saw two barracks building but he has no idea that a third one is about to come up right there and then the best thing is that you want to put these two marines next to the ramp so that they will deny any more scouting. See, I think he now sees what I was doing, so he, he knows I'll have Marines out and a Reaper Rush will be an epic fail, so he just stopped it and he started building these Marines and he decided to go for a fast factory, usually at, at 3.30 game time, that's relatively fast, and I guess he wants to go for that tank move and he saved a little scout right here and wanted to suicide it later into my base to see what happens but my marines like totally denied that and I have five marines so when you have five marines you want to move out right there and actually my move, my move out was kind of late because you should be able to get to the enemy base in about four minutes game time that's about three minutes in real time and I do have these barracks uh, pumping out constant marines and a third supply depot trying trying to uh, not get myself supply capped see by the time you get to the Terran base Terran has only two marines bunch of factories two marines and you just snipe it snipe out the easiest thing that you can now I have about seven marines on his ramp though <laughs> the only thing standing between in the way of me winning is a bunch of SCVs that he has to pull off the line. This is his entire SCV line. If I can take them out, even if my rush fails and he gets a tank out, if I can take out all his SCVs, that would... Oh man, he, he has about four, four or five SCV left. So uh, even if you don't kill him right now, uh, this game would be pretty balanced. Yeah, you can just go home, uh, you can just go back to your base, you know, uh, build up your uh, refinery. Make, make sure you get a siege tank out, because uh, if he researches uh, siege, then you will be in trouble. So that's why I wanted to take out that tech lab first. Well, he just um, raged left. This is a pretty, I, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty annoying strategy, and um, not a lot of people like it, but it does win me 4 out of 5 games in the Platinum League. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys can you know watch this and perfect it into something that's even better than what I'm doing right now. But you know this is just a general idea for you guys to see. All right, thank you.